Welcome to Johnny on Energy. We're here at the AHR Expo, and I'm here with Tony Landers at Climate Master. These guys do geothermal work, and uh, it's an option for your home that's actually very energy efficient. It's about using, you know, the type of energy you can remove from the ground temperature itself. But I'm going to let the expert talk about that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Climate Master Tony and uh, how geothermal works? Cause... All right, great. All right, well, thanks, Johnny. Uh, I am Tony Landers with Climate Master. We're out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, we are the world largest manufacturer of water source heat pumps. Uh, part of that business is with geothermal and if you're not familiar with geothermal uh, we use the energy that is stored in the earth. Uh, the earth is basically a solar collector uh, and 46 percent of the energy of the sun is collected uh, and we can tap into that energy by using pipes just like this, high density polyethylene, uh, guaranteed for 55 years. We bury these into the earth and then we circulate water through these pipes to either extract or uh, absorb energy from the earth and we use that to heat and cool your home. So what's actually circulating through there? Is that like a kind of like a coolant in your radiator? Or? No, it's, it's not like a radi uh, radiator fluid that's in your car. It yeah. is primarily water. Mm -hmm. Now we might add some antifreeze to that, some sort of inhibitors uh, to prevent any sort of growth if there's uh, contaminants in the water, uh, but generally it's just straight water. Oh, interesting. And that then goes into, this is the type of unit that will actually be in the house. Yes, this is uh, one of our newest units right here. It's a variable speed unit, uh, but we're very proud uh, to be able to use that geothermal yep. energy in the home. Now, do you see it mainly in new construction, retrofits, that sort of thing? Because I know in a, like a retrofit, like a new construction, you can lay the, those pipes horizontal right. while the whole lot's tore up if you've got enough space, but in an existing, you tend to drill vertical wells. Uh, actually, the type of loop that goes in depends on how much space you have available. Uh, if you want to put in a horizontal, if you have a lot of land, you can do that. It's very economical. Uh, if you're tight on space, then you can drill for vertical bores. Uh, but whether it's new construction or retrofit, uh, it really doesn't matter. It really depends on what your site is. Well, how deep do you need to go on, uh, how deep below the ground is the coil, the piping? Um, once you get below six to eight feet, the, the the earth is very much stable as far as temperature. Okay, so about, uh, six, we'll, to, about eight, six to eight feet deep. Is that's where we start to get to a stable temperature. Okay. Once we uh, actually start to drill for these, if we're doing horizontal, we may be 10 feet deep. If we're drilling vertically, we may be 200 to 250 deep. Okay. And how much does this save the homeowner over a traditional heat pump where you're using heat out of the air to... Uh, over a conventional heat. heating and cooling system, we'll save anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of your energy Bills. So not only heating and cooling, but we can also supply hot water. And your products are available through most installers, uh, HVAC contractors? Yes, we local. have distribution networks all across the country. Uh, all of them rep our products. Uh, most of them, actually some of them just specialize in geothermal. That is all they do. Okay. Hey, well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us and explaining how geothermal works, and I uh, hope you have a fantastic show. Great. We're here uh, and really to bring geothermal uh, to the average homeowner. All right. Well, thank you very much. Great. Thank you.